Hey Legionnaires, I have for you today some Thrones of Britannia and we have a glorious 3v3 siege battle that is taking place by both land and by sea. As you can see, the ships are about to land. The Vikings have come and they brought with them some Saxon traitors as well. We have, um, I think we have Saxons and Vikings on both sides actually here today. Um, but we do have Wessex and we have the Normans here. Waiting on the sea, uh, like on the on the beach, waiting for them by sea. We have the Normans over here. We have a few Wessex troops here. We have East Engel here, actually, which is kind of a guess. They're a bit like Danelord, like a bit of a hybrid faction. We have Mercia attacking along with the Norse, and I actually think two Norse armies. We have two Norse armies, and. Uh, a Mercian army here today. As you can see, we already have elite axemen rushing down here. They're trying to take out as many of these infantry units before they can form up. As you can see, we have noble swords. They are ready to uh, be challenged by the elite axemen. But yes, it's great to be back with more Thrones of Britannia. I really do love this game. A very underrated Total War in my opinion. And I know you guys have been enjoying it recently. So yeah, sit back, relax, get some snacks, get some drinks, and prepare for an insanely close Siege battle really does come down to the wire. Uh, this is part of the Thrones Britannia stream that I did the other day. If you haven't uh, checked that out, I do recommend you go and do so. It's, we did some really cool battles in that one, and we had a really a lot of fun, a lot of banner with a lot of subs. It was really really good fun. But yes, what do we have here? We have some royal guards. They're actually losing to uh, elite axemen. I guess the axemen on the charge do really really well. Um, these elite axemen seem to be doing okay. Noble Swords losing as well. Royal Spearmen losing decisively. Yeah, a lot of these units are actually losing to my elite axemen. So, I mean, credit to my elite axemen doing great. Are these male Danes here waiting? And fortunately, you can't attack a unit until it fully lands, which is really annoying. I feel like you should be able to attack while the unit's landing um, because just to give it like, a little bit of advantage. As a defender, you already like have the disadvantage in funds. So, like, I feel like you should be able to attack. Like, I'm using very cheap units here. Well, not cheap, but mid-tier units to fight really elite troops. Like, elite Hersey Swords here beating my male Danes, and I charged him. I actually didn't have enough infantry to protect my rear, and this male Dane here, which is doing okay, is now being rear-charged by Berserkers. So this is not a good sign. How is my Norman ally doing on the far side over here? So his Norman foot soldiers here. Looks like they're doing okay against male Hersir Axemen for now. Uh, it's like heavy sword herdmen. How's he doing here? Norman foot soldiers actually winning against male Hersir here. But yeah, it's Viking chosen warriors over here are chewing up all these Norman axe warriors. Yeah, this is just not a fair fight for these Normans. Poor guys facing some of the toughest axemen around. And they're also getting shot as well. Who are they being shot by? Hearthguard? No. Uh, by mailed archers over there. They're getting shot all the way over there. It seems a bit of a waste of ammo. They're already chewing these guys up. But there you go. Already, this is not a good sign. And now you can see that these troops will flank around and these normal troops will slowly be surrounded. They already are in a few areas being surrounded. The Normans slowly getting overwhelmed. I mean, so are the Saxons a little bit. Yes, if you want to send in your own Thrones of Britannia replay or just get involved in some Thrones of Britannia action if you guys are struggling to find some games, feel free to join the Discord. The link is down below in the description. You guys are more than welcome to get involved and take part in some awesome sieges and epic battles. Or if you just want to come and join and just have a bit of a chat with other people in the, uh, the server who are fellow subs, or chat to myself, you're also more than welcome. Uh, I actually have some male Danes here that are treating these brave... Brave cowards running in the other direction. But I do have some sneaky plans of my sleeve. I do have plenty of archers here. And I do have my general unit, which is 240 men. It's a big-ass unit you've got to break through here. And hopefully with, like, the archer support, I'm going to try and uh, hold here for a long, long time. I also have some there's male Danes now as well coming to support. They are the only ones I feel like I can get out alive. I mean, maybe I could get some of these axemen out because they seem like they're clearing up these spears quite nicely. 
But who knows? Maybe. The enemy is at the walls. Uh, how are they doing at the walls? They've actually just arrived. Looks like they've opened up a breach here of Mercia, and they're now sending through some chosen feared axemen. How are they doing on the other side over here? Just arriving as well. These are Norman chosen warriors here. With some of the better swords available. Getting focused down right now. There's a Thrall Spearman unit over here that's getting focused down. But I mean, these are just Thralls. They are basic infantry. No surprise that these guys are dying uh, easily to Norman chosen archers there. But yeah, as you can see down here on the beach, it's not looking good. Numbers. Really not looking good. 5,800 against 3,700 as it currently stands. Not good at all. A lot of the Norse troops have landed. I think actually all of them have landed now. The Mercian troops, though, have a son of route, though, which is good to see. I mean, Rolf Thanes looks like they might get beaten back here. These, these uh, noble swords are actually starting to win now. Mainly because the elite axemen are uh, being surrounded by berserkers. But I have uh, more elite axemen on the way to come in. Get a bit of a charge off here. In you go, boys. Kill as many as you can. Chop off their heads. A tower has been destroyed. They are on a charge. These elite axemen are pretty solid. They are losing decisively there. That's good to see. How are they doing here? Meldhurst, their axemen losing as well. And these Royal Thanes losing. So my axes, you know what? They're going to do okay. They're not going to get like incredible kills. But they're going to have got like maybe 100, maybe 200. I mean, 200 actually is not too bad. That's actually pretty solid. But yeah, unfortunately, the final few Norman units, even though they, these guys are winning, they just are going to win this fight. And the Vikings like, no, denied. What are they sending? Viking chosen warriors, yeah. Like, what a rough unit. Not, not what you want to see charging into your back when you were winning your fight here. So there you go. The Normans and Wessex have been defeated really on the beach. It's only a matter of time until these Wessex troops down here get mopped up. But yeah, not looking good here at all. And now the Normans have got another problem to deal with. It's another Norse army over on this side. They've got some Thrall swords here. Battling away. Doing their bit. Yes, if you want to support the channel in any other way, feel free to go and check out my merch. The link's down below in the description. Also, feel free to go and check out my Instagram as well. That is also in the description of this video. And if you want to just go and support, give it a like. Maybe buy a shirt if you fancy it. Show off your uh, support for the Papal Legion. You're more than welcome to. Yeah, these, uh, these Thrall Spears here, the Thrall Swords actually, I think they are. They probably are going to die. They are merely levies. I think they just have the job pushing up the towers. But yeah, these guys are getting focused down currently right now by mailed archers. We are using the Radius mods. There are some newer units that you, uh, like some new units that you may not recognize in vanilla. So, uh, yeah, Vi uh, like the Norman Chosen Warriors here and Viking Chosen Axemen, like stuff like that. Like, they're all Radius units. I think also Thrall Swords might be, but I'm not sure. Uh, you just never really see Levy units brought in thrones. Yeah, lots of Vi uh, Norman Chosen Warriors here ready to go. We've got Norman Mailed Swords here. The yeah, Pounds of Power is looking rough. We're on less than 3,000 men, and they have just over 5,000 left as well. Uh, Mercia did lose some Royal Archers here. The Normans, by the way, have their general way out here. He is uh, being a bit sneaky. Looks like he's going to maybe go for this catapult back here, which has just been left. It did open up a breach, but I imagine it still has ammo. And they're starting to burn our settlement down. How rude of them. And now East Engle is down here, fighting off against Mercia. Male Thanes losing to Dame of Veteran Axemen. So, solid unit that they've charged into here. And Berserkers here as well, da uh, Daniel Veteran Axeman. These archers hitting to retreat, they are just getting gunned down, they're getting outnumbered. The yeah, shield by some really solid units here for East Engel. Trade field Axeman, I mean, them against Daniel Veteran Axeman, not a good chance. The yeah, shield by his Berserkers brought a lot of solid units, lots of Berserkers, really expensive army being brought by East Engel. He's actually got some Daniel mailed archers up on the wall as well. Which could just shoot these uh, Fjordmen if they fancied. And there's more archers over here as well. So yeah. 
And now this Norse army, all the mercenary troops just got killed down here. But uh, all the Norse survivors, which, I mean, to be fair, actually, looking at their numbers, they did do a decent amount of damage. Like, a lot of these troops are not healthy. I mean, the Hearthguard is, of course. But yeah, they've now got to go up this hill, and they now have to assault this choke point here. Which, there isn't much in the way of infantry, but there are plenty of archers that are full ammo that can do a lot of damage. Yeah, the uh, chosen swords over, uh, chosen warriors over here, killing these thralls off. To apologize, just zooming in on the ground there. Yeah, killing off these thralls easily. I mean, these guys are just not going to be a problem. Still, actually, uh, sending in a lot of thrall swordsmen. They've not really sent in any mainline infantry yet, which is a little bit concerning for the Normans because they're kind of struggling a bit on this side. Got some mailed hearses swords now up. They they just knocked down a hole in the wall, and there's some mailed swordsmen waiting for them. But yeah, what are we seeing now come in? Mailed hearse here. Yeah, lots of mailed hearse here. What? There's still, like, Yarsley Axemen to come up. These are solid units here. Scary Axemen units. Very elite. Yeah, lots of Yarsley Axemen there. And what's back here? We've got mailed Huskarls, which are, I'm pretty sure these are like a double-handed axe unit. Yeah. You would not want to face these guys. In combat, and they are really very, very vulnerable though to archers. So that's one thing. The general here, Hearthguard, only has 120 men. Didn't upgrade his general, which I do like. That's a cool thing you can do. Just upgrade your uh, bodyguard. It's very cool. Yeah, the archers up here, nice little position. Yet to be a attacked, but yeah, it's looking a little bit worrying over on this side. And I was really worried that um, this Norse army was just going to come in behind and undo my like awesome defense I've set up. So I was like. Begging East Engels, like, please, you need to retreat. Like, you need to get back. He's got like, Jarl's chosen swords here. An elite sword unit that he's uh, trying to retreat. Looks like it might just get back in time. And they are getting focused down those that are retreat. But yeah, he's got most of his infantry back. Like, he's got Dane Law Veteran Axeman back. He's got, like, his War Champions, his General, Berserkers, sh uh, Shield Biders, and things like that. Yeah, he's all desperately sending them over to the other side. My General's under attack from someone. N not sure who. Oh, he's just being attacked by noble swords that are retreating. So he's getting free kills, which is something, I guess. The Vikings starting to burn down our city. And this does do damage to morale. I don't... We can't see for some reason what how much he's doing, but I guess... I don't know. Maybe the attackers can. Maybe we can't. Archers here, they're firing... They need to fight. They need to shoot in and get some shots off on these elite troops here. Yeah, look at the fire. It looks awesome. Just the fire coming, like, going up in flames. It's just... And then with the infantry behind. It looks really nice. It looks really cinematic. The Viking... Uh, the Norman chosen swords down here. They've been fighting on a long time. They're now fighting Mel Hurst here. Sun of Wave is finally breaking there. And the Norm is just in a real rough position over here. They've not had a great game. They've not had a, a fun time. They've been having a rough time on the beach. Now they're having a rough time with the other Norse troops here. The Normans will be sick of seeing Vikings after today. That is for sure. They're like, God damn it. Please just die. Fire is just flying in. I think also trying to just do damage to morale, perhaps. Also, he's burning... I'm going to burn the uh, the city down. The Normans, are they fighting on this wall here? No, this is actually Vikings. Jarly Axemen fighting in the gate down here, which this must be doing a bunch of damage to the Meld Hearse here. I mean, we can't really see from this angle. It's not a great place to really watch the fight, but you can see a lot of burn people here from the oil. So this is good for the Normans. They must be killing a whole bunch of Vikings just with the oil, which is great. But here we go. The Norse finally making their way up this way. Also, I mean, on this side, Mercy's got to deal with just one single choke point. He's got Jarl's chosen swords in a shield wall waiting. He's wasting ammo, by the looks of it, on archers up here, which are going to be really tough to hit at this angle. And in return, like, the archers down here, they can just shoot easily. Like, it's so much more in favor of the defenders, this, uh, this position here. Like, they do not want to waste their ammunition. They might as well just hold on to it. Yeah, male Thane's getting ready. It looks like they're going to send in a male Thane unit to try and break through. And they, they probably should. These are healthy. I think it's a pretty banged up 
chosen swords, but we will see. In they go, volleys coming in. And there you go, the battle commences down here. And Mercy continues his fight against East Engle. They're actually piling in the troops, they really are. Like there's two units going in. I feel like this is a little bit too much, a bit too much blobbing. Um, and definitely, I mean, if Mercy wanted to, could, uh, not Mercy, East Engle wanted to, he could just turn and start firing into the flanks here. Doing a lot of damage. Speaking of East Engle, has now actually got troops sort of in the area of the main cap point. And you can see the Norse desperately are trying to capture the point. But it looks like he's actually trying to go after archers. Really, should just capture this point. But the Wessex archers have been mobilized. And they are focusing down the other archers over there of the Norse. Trying to do damage to them, kill them off, get rid of these mailed archers, and then we don't have to worry about the infantry or like archer fire. We just have to worry about infantry. So they are bringing up plenty of berserkers, and these berserkers are well chevroned. I mean, in their thrones, you get chevroned so easily. But they're fairly healthy, over half strength or at half strength. Elite hers here, swords going up. Yeah, these uh, mailed archers are getting focused down. They're basically. Redundant at this point at 28 men left. Okay, now the shots coming in, trying to hit these elite hearse here, trying to do damage to them as they come up. And there's a brave Wessex defense waiting. They've got to hold the line. But they actually patiently wait here to the north and allowing us to get more shots off on them, which is even better. These Berserkers now coming up. They're going to be the first to charge in. They're getting focused down. Take a lot of shots as they go in. And this is excellent for us. We need to just keep shooting these Berserkers. There you go. They are being focused down. As you can see over here, the Normans have basically been defeated. East Engle, though, has just arrived in time to like hold the point. For, uh, for the, the defenders, just about. I mean, we've got some Yarsley Axemen on their way. Uh, but there are some shield biters waiting. They have dashed over here. But they are ready to go. There is more of the city, though, on fire. This is always a problem. The Vikings can just keep burning our city. This is a real, real problem. Seems over here, though, Mercy are throwing in his general royal bodyguard. Trying to break through Yarl's chosen swords. Hard to get a real good angle here with the uh, with the cliffs on both sides. But here we go. It looks like they are breaking through uh, the Mercians. So we're going to have to see some reinforcements soon come down. I mean, what have we got here? We've got Danelaw Veteran Axemen ready to go. So two solid units that can be thrown in if they need to be. Over on this side with the Archer Fire. Wessex is holding. Royal Companions have been sent in. My general, my elite general unit has been thrown in. My male Danes are losing. They are doing just enough. They've just got to hold on. They've just got to, they don't need to win their combat. They just need to hold the line. And then just let my archers do the work. Because they are doing work right now. I mean, up here, they are mercilessly firing right now. These aren't good archers. These are just like militia feared archers. They are focusing these guys down. They're doing the work. I, mean, I think I have some better ones along here, maybe. Yeah, select feared archers. These guys... I think we'll probably want to get the real kills. They have a better angle as well, actually. We've got a bit of a better rear shot. And there you go. That Viking push there has been defeated. Viking chosen so uh, warriors. There's only like 40 of them left, and they're wavering both units now. So excellent. And now you can see the East Angle General has arrived as well. Warlords champions here. So there's plenty here. I mean... The Norse player still not landed everything yet over here, but yeah, he's like Huskars and stuff just waiting outside. But he is just about cleared up the Norse, but not too much of a worry. Balance of power still not looking great. 1700 against 2700 is looking a little rough for the uh, for the defenders. But there is always hope. There is always hope when you have solid choke points like this and plenty of archers with ammo. You can do plenty of work. I'm having to send my general in this direction though to go over here and support. So I'm a little bit worried. Um, I only have 45 male Danes to hold the line. But if uh, that player is uh, just watched half his army die to Archer Fire, if he's smart, he'll hold for now and give us time to maybe deal with one of the other armies. Maybe Mercia or maybe the other Norse army. 
Mercians right now certainly being held in their place. These veteran axemen seem like they're holding the line. Male Danes are losing. We've got, uh, have we got archers in here as well? Yeah, royal archers sending in chosen feared axemen. I mean, yeah, again, the archers up here mercilessly firing down. Look that they're firing down. Again, hard to get a bit of an angle with this uh, cliff. Yeah, they're firing down in here, and look, they're kind of forming like a like a triangle, like shield wall. Kind of a look. I, I kind of get what they're trying to do, but they need to be careful. They don't just get shot in the back. This unit, this male thing here, could just get shot in the back. Um, but yeah, I don't know where the Norman general is. Oh, the Norman general's all the way over here. I think he was trying to get maybe... He's actually really banged up as well. Jeez, what happened to him? Guess here he had a fight. I do not realize, but yeah, he actually took a lot of... Yikes, he took a lot of damage. I presume this was fighting some sort of infantry. I did not see what happened, but yeah. Had a bit of a rough time. He's still alive, though. The Normans haven't got much left, so if they lost the general, wouldn't be the end of the world. There we go. The Vikings coming up once again on this side, the Norse. And they're getting focused down as they come on by. And they're like, yeah, no, not for us. Back down the hill they go. Keep firing, Saxons! Hold them at bay! It's a pretty brutal... I mean, if I had the Welsh longbows as well, even better. I mean, those Welsh units with their longbows are incredible. Oh, there you go. We've got a bit of a better angle down here. Yeah, the longbows are the, like the nastiest range units around in Thrones. So if I had them, even better. But my Fjord Archers, they're doing a good job. I also think the Longbows maybe have better range, which is really good. But yes, we have 10 minutes left, and both sides starting to uh, crack a little bit in a few areas. We have mailed Archers going in. That's not a good sign for the Norse. They've clearly run out of ammo. So they are shooting just now into the back of their own men. They need to really get angles with their, uh, with their Archers. That's the best way in Thrones to get a lot of kills, because a lot of units have big... Shields, as you can see here, like these berserkers that have been thrown in. These guys have big ass shields. They're not gonna, like, their missile block's pretty solid. You're gonna get flanking shots to do the damage. The berserkers here, they're holding. Over on this side, what have they thrown in? They've thrown in mailed hearse here, which are just banged up, and mail and then some mailed archers. Shield biters, which are like a berserker unit, but they're just cheaper. So like it, they will break uh, a little bit quicker, but they are still solid. And they're another unit that can go out of control. So you need to be careful. But yeah, these shield biters here wouldn't decisively cutting through these guys. That shield biter is really underrated. Like, a, like I said, like a berserker, but cheaper and still very effective. They are a smaller unit like berserkers though as well. So that is the only downside to berserk units. They are often a bit smaller, but they're solid units. Okay, the Norse play over here is so scared of pushing up right now. I mean, his archers, the archer like fire is merciless. Uh, all his units are in like shield wall. Only his general is the healthy unit the left. Enemy general, enemy general is dead. This is massively going to help over here. Mercia coming in and getting a really like getting nowhere in this push. It's really unfortunate. It just turned in, like you had a really good position to attack over here, but because of how poorly the Normans were doing. East Angle had to retreat, and it made it much easier for him to hold here, while he sent troops to now help against the Norse way over here. But yeah, unfortunately for Mercy, that just made his job ten times tougher, pushing through one choke point. Berserkers are losing here, though. Huskar has been thrown in, along with a whole bunch of other stuff. And yeah, the Huskars are actually losing decisively, and maybe wavering. Shieldbite is also losing decisively. These Huskars are just a little bit too strong for them. And I'm now going to throw my general in, my royal companions. Which means that there's just not anything over here that can help defense. The Norse, if they wanted to push forward, there's only a tiny little male thane that could hold them back. You see my royal companions chasing them down. And I'm actually desperate chasing after these guys. This is a misclick. I didn't realize that they've retreated so far, but they're baiting my general out. And uh, this is a real problem here. The uh, Wessex general in real, real problem there. And they've actually broken through here. And now look at this. 
They can just swing in and surround this Wessex General and he is in deep, deep trouble. And only when it's too late does the Wessex General realize he's got to retreat. And really, East Engel needs to send over some troops, some, some Berserkers, some Shield Biters. Send all of this over. There's nothing here that uh, needs to be... Like, they all need to be over here. They may need to defend the point, yes. But they also need to, like, help kill off all these, uh, these Norsemen. And maybe try and save this general. But here you go. The uh, Wesley general in a real bad spot now. He can get surrounded. I imagine he's losing. No? Yeah, he is now. He's fighting Huskarls, Hearthguard. Yeah, nasty, nasty stuff. And look at this. They're back up here and they're getting shot, but it's not going to be enough. And there's not enough infantry here to stop them this time. 45, they will break eventually. Hold the line, boys! They kind of just snuck on by there. Kind of a little bit of a pull through, but not too much. They're still getting folks down. Look at this. Just folks them down as much as possible. It's like, get them into overdrive now with firing these archers. They're, they're like, hands must be so bloody. I'm like, just having to pull back this drawstring. But yeah, we're still breaking these guys. 73, and they're losing decisively. They're fighting 25 male Thanes. But the archer support here is just brutal, and it's really helping out. It might just be enough to hold them back. If they send their general, which is like literally their last unit almost, they could break through. But he's not. Not yet anyway. And they break just like that. There's 10 male things to hold the line. 9 now. He's got 8, 7. They get, hold your fire, please. Stop killing these male things. Look at it. It's incredibly close. Royal Companions here doing their bit. And now we have a rear charge over here as well from the Norman player. Norman Cav into the back lines, helping to rout the remaining Mercians who have been sandwiched here. And Mercia is going to be out in a few moments, it seems. His final few units, his male things are being routed. And like I said, it was just a really rough end for the, uh, of the siege for Mercia. They lost their general, and they had to attack a, uh, a single choke point here. And they just... Yeah, you can see the bodies down here. Brutal. And they have been routed, unfortunately. And now they desperately need to get all their remaining troops over here because the Norse have broken through. Mailed archers. I mean, it's only mailed archers, but they've broken through. Over here, though, Shield Biders losing. Warlords champions winning. And look at that. Berserkers, with the help of the Royal Companions here, helping to break troops here. And I don't know where the Norse general is. Oh, he was there. He was broken by these Berserkers and the Royal Companions. Huge. Uh, they've killed him. I don't know if the general's actually dead, but that's going to do massive stuff for morale. And they can maybe rout those few last remaining Norse troops here. Uh, the Norse now pushing up here over here as well. It's merely archers to hold the line. They've run out of ammo and they've been sent in to die. More archers coming in, just some select field archers. They just need to pile bodies in. And at this point... The Norse could break through. I mean, these archers are breaking and they are kind of like losing decisively. It's just a brutal, brutal. So, I mean, if they can get these chosen, Norman chosen archers up on the, uh, on the wall, they can maybe put some decent volleys in and do damage to the hearth guard. But my gosh, it's close. More archers over here. It's like third archers losing to mailed archers. They can break these few units here, like the Yarsley Axemen, and what we've got here, Yarsley Axemen as well. They only break in quickly. Shot them down. They've broken them. Oh, it's close. There's like a few random Norse units over here. The general for the Norse did actually pull through. There's still my archers here. He did decide to pull through to try and get through. It's a bit scummy at this point in the game. It's like, you just have to break some archers, man. Just deal with it. You can do it. Like, it's not the end of the world. It's not like you're having to fight elite infantry. Speaking of elite infantry, the remaining East Engel, like, veteran axemen are moving over with archers. Hopefully they have ammo, but yeah, there's not much left. I mean, balance power has now shifted way in favor of the defenders. It's 600 versus 300. We have turned the numbers around. I'm sure that's helped massively with the help of uh, 
the single choke points. The general there helping to break a mailed archer unit. I mean, it's great that he's got we've got a bit of cav left to do some hammer and anvils, and also just to route archers like this. Like just knocking through the archers like this is easy for them. Run them down. Norman general holding on. I think he might have died about this time though. I think the Norman general did die fighting the archers here. But it's not really the end of the world. There isn't really any uh, Normans left. They just have some chosen archers and that is it. My general then dies fighting the Hearthguard and then we are... Actually, we're not quite generalists, I don't think, because I believe East Engel still has his somewhere. Yeah, I think his is still in this tiny little unit here. And his is most important because East Engel has most of the troops left. I am nearly out. I just have my uh, my companions left. Fighting in the shade over here. They are fighting off against one. Finally, look at this. The Norman general charging in, doing a rear charge. So, yes, yeah, screw it. We'll get as many kills as possible. It's Hearthguard here. Gold Chevron. Losing slightly. But really, they could break anything to this point. 500 versus 150. Seriously close. I mean, and to start, you got to think that we started all the way down on the beach. You may have forgotten that, but we started all the way down there. They pushed all the way up here. It's been an incredible fight. It was a brilliant Thrones of Britannia siege. One of the best. It's why I love Thrones of Britannia. Because I think it's quite fast paced, but also you can have some really grindy sieges sometimes. And oh, there you go. A Pyrrhic victory for uh, Wessex and its allies. They just routed the Hearthguard there. And yeah, like I said, this was part of the stream. I was playing as Wessex. It was a brilliant fight. My archers were my MVPs getting like all getting 200 kills really. My general nearly 400 kills. Um, what am I uh, like male dainty 178 kills. And my elite axeman one of them got 249 but like two getting over 100 is not too bad. Um, and then we got Mythic here who's playing as East Angle did a really good job in his choke point. Two of his archers getting over 200 kills as well. Berserker's 232 kills. His Daniel veteran axeman 363 kills. Um, and he has some solid kills in shield biters 146, his general 139. Then we have Thundernut who had a really rough time as the Normans, but he did really well with his general 240 kills. His swords, uh, his foot soldiers getting 150 kills. His uh, no Norman chosen warriors getting 300 kills here basically, really good. And then his archers 180 kills is really good as well. Swifting who was playing as the Norse had a really rough time against my archers. Uh, he got some pretty solid kills though. 248 with his hearth guard, 100 kills with his male hearthseer axeman, his elite hearthseer swords, 152 kills, 234. Berserk is getting 180 kills, um, and then his Viking chosen warriors, 289 kills. So yeah, really good kills with his infantry, even though he had a rough time coming up that hill. Geo playing as the Norse, um, fighting off against Thundernut uh, to start with, and then facing Mythic's uh, East Engle army. Um, his general 82 kills. I mean, his infantry is lowest here, so not getting great kills. But 108, uh, 162 for Jal Elite Axeman. Uh, his male Tuskals getting 178, uh, 176 kills. And his archers getting 81 kills. Then we have Cyrus playing as Mercia. Uh, 156 kills with his Royal Bodyguard. His Royal Thanes getting 120 kills. His Royal Guards getting 190 kills. Uh, his male Thanes getting 118 kills, 163 kills with the male Thanes down here as well. Arch is 80 kills, but yeah, a really rough time for the attacks when he had to go through those choke points. But it did mean that we were able to get a really, really close finish siege. And what a siege it was. I hope you guys did enjoy. Do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment show support. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.